good evening. Welcome to our channel, You She Talks. And today we are talking about Congressman's wife's death in 2021 after consuming white mulberry leaf. We have more details about this. Please continue to watch this video. Lori McClintock died in what the Sacramento County coroner described or determined was an accident. On the section of the form that asked the coroner to describe how injury occurred, it lists subject ingested multiple mulberry leaf death after consuming the, the this leaf was unusual, according to reports. The 61-year-old died in December. Her husband, U.S. Representative Tom McClintock, a conservative Republican representing North Carolina, found her unresponsive inside their locked home. The paperwork from the coroner's office, which dated March 10th, List dehydration due to gastroenteritis and adverse effects of white mulberry leaf ingestion as her cause of death. It's unclear why she ingested the leaf. It's also unclear how she consumed it. A family statement on Congressman's Facebook page at the time did not mention anything about the cause of death. Some people drink white mulberry leaf tea. Others uh, take it in the form of a supplement that comes in both capsule and liquid form. The plant is native to parts of India and China and has been used by natural medicine practitioners for several millennia. Some practitioners think it can help with weight loss by lowering a person's blood sugar. The theory has been tested by a small number of studies that show participants lost some weight, but more research is needed. A few studies have also tested to see if it can help with diabetes by lowering insulin levels. Other studies have shown it lowered cholesterol in animal studies, but none of those studies are large enough to determine if white mulberry plants have these effects. The day before McClintock died, the report says that she complained about a, about an upset stomach. Studies have shown that consumption of white mulberry can cause gastrointestinal problems including nausea, cramping, bloating, and gas. Typically, most of the symptoms seem pretty mild, according to Caitlin Brown, the clinical managing director of the American Association of Poison Control Centers. Generally, white mulberry as a plant is pretty safe and has a lower order of risk for human toxicity. Brown said a death would be unusual. Brown said that the poison control line has had some calls about the plants over the years. Since 2018 until the end of December 2001, they had a hundred single substance ingestions of white mulberry plant, meaning it wasn't mixed with anything else out of those about 89 percent were accidental in nature uh you know in children under the age of 12 so that's all we have in today's video please continue to watch this space for more informative news thanks for watching us you have a wonderful day ahead bye bye